Hello everyone. Check it out. Look what we're playing. Huh? It looks like we're playing some kind of... <laughs> some kind of chauvinistic pig's fantasy or something. Now, this is the true question, isn't it? Um, Refi... Refi's obviously more of like the doom person, but um... I thought that it'd be cool if I did this one because I've heard about it. And I, I know a lot of things from Osmosis. So, we're not playing on Dem, I'm good. Definitely not. Come get some. <laughs> Cause it's like, we're not playing it on Dem, I'm good. Definitely not. Okay, so, this game, if you've watched Refi play Doom, which was a very, very long time ago, so I don't blame you if you don't remember, or if you weren't even around for that, but, um, this is not the same, uh, engine. This is a different engine. Fuck you. Um, this is called the build engine. Made by, um, put the text here of what it is, because I don't, I don't remember. Um, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a cool engine. Uh, it, evolved a lot of stuff that was present in Doom. You've got room over room. You have actually can- you can walk onto a different floor. Very cool. Okay, so this is weird, right? So, there had to be like a fist-type weapon, which is the boot. You can just kick, right? Okay, that's normal, okay? But there's a bind called the Mighty Foot, which is the kick, but from the other foot. So if you equip the kick, and then this one. <gasps> no, that's that's messed up. <gasps> oh, there it is. Okay, there. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, okay, I promise you. I promise you that <laughs> Refi was telling me a story about how back in the day that in the original Duke Nukem, if you kicked and then you did the mighty foot with the other thing, like you can kind of sit for a brief second. You could kick with both feet. And it looked really silly, but you can't do it anymore. It's bad. Okay, because we got the secret rocket launcher, we can do this. Blow it out your ass. Oh, sorry, hello. Didn't mean to ignore you, buddy. Speaking of ignoring people. What? He moved. Yeah, usually you have to do this whole thing. L let me show you, actually. So normally to get into this building, you have to go through here, okay? And it, you, so you go in through the exit. But we are not so rude that we'd have to use the exit. We're actually going to go in through the entrance. But first, I just realized I missed a secret. Uh, very uncouth of me, sorry. Atomic health. Gives you about 50 health, I think. Oh, uh, Din, Meadow. Cool. Game player. So yeah, this engine is very cool, but we're not here to talk about the engine, obviously. We are here to talk about Duke Nukem 3D, which is the game that we are playing. Um, I, obviously, am not very experienced with this game. And neither is Refi. So, you're gonna get an interesting perspective on this game. Um, it's not one of those playthroughs where it's like some pathetic uh, gamer who's never played like any classic game before like struggle to get through it. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of both. <laughs> because I'm not very good at Duke Nukem. Um, me and Refi are quite good at Doom. He has been making me play Doom. So yeah, we're good at Doom, but we're not good at this. Like, you can see the reflection. <laughs> So you know what you're getting yourself in for before you enter the room. There he is. Damn, I'm looking good. Damn, I'm looking good. Uh, oh, disgusting. Funny. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> he was using the bathroom. Sorry. <gasps> Shotgun shells. Hello. Oh. Okay, so these are all... Wait. Oh god, no, don't- okay, hang on, we're gonna have to go into the guts of this thing. Save load confirmation, turn off. Nothing to break the- the mood. 
like a uh, save load confirmation. So these women have been like uh, assimilated. You can't hear it because of the music is so overpowered. I might turn the music down. So they're saying kill me. Um, so I always kill them. <laughs> maybe that's not very couth. Uh, maybe people don't like that. But I think you should. They're like, kill me. So I'm like, they're probably in lots of pain and probably you can't really save them. There is actually, I don't think there's anything you can do to save them. So you might as well just kill them. They're suffering. So stop them from suffering. Do you mind? Damn, did Sandy Peterson make this? <laughs> when you unlock a secret, it just brings more enemies. <laughs> Disgusting. I see you. So originally this spot would have been where we came in from. See, if we play this, it starts showing a movie of a woman, um, dancing. I forgot this building starts, like, falling apart. I don't remember why. Maybe it's just because of the alien attack. Oh, I should probably talk about the story, right? There is actually a story to this game. Um... <laughs> I forgot about that, so funny. Um... Yes, there is actually, in fact, a story. The story is that, um... Uh, uh, Duke Nukem is a man who has been saving the Earth from alien... bad aliens, okay? And, um... It's been going well. He has been killing the aliens, right? But, unfortunately... The aliens got mad that he was fighting them so badly, and so very many killing them. So, the aliens say, we are going to go to your home planet and kill you there. And um, they go to Earth, and they begin the attack on Earth. So this is when he gets home from his spaceship, fighting the aliens on space. And he gets home, and they've been killing humans, and he doesn't- and Duke Nukem is like, that makes me mad. Balls of steel. <laughs> you get it? Because it's- it's pinball. Oh, this is a secret, by the way, look. Don't have time to play with myself. I've unlocked the Hollow Duke. The Hollow Duke is an interesting, uh, interesting tool. The Hollow Duke lets you, um, it summons a holographic decoy of Duke Nukem. Ouch. Um, and you can use this decoy to, uh, distract enemies. Oh shit. Terribly sorry, I've been swearing more often, huh? Ow! Get fucked. <laughs> Sorry, in the original version of this game, you had, like, auto-aim always on. So, shooting those jetpack guys would used to be a lot easier. <laughs> but I'm insisting on playing with, uh, aiming, manual aiming and mouse look, because it's, um... A more immersive experience. And a more challenging one, as well. Oh, come on, I don't want to re-go back. So, do you see this? No trickery here. This is actually colored sector lighting. Um, this is something that doesn't exist in the original Doom engine. This is another innovation. You can have colored lighting in places, which is very cool. How many of the secrets did I get? Oh, I won't know until we auto-destruct. So steroids in this game, they just make you really fast. Which I'm not really sure that's how they work in real life, but go off, I guess. These guys are so annoying. Wow. Okay, this is hard. Okay, don't... Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna have to actually play this like an actual gamer. Hang on. Holy crap. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, that was hard. I didn't like that. 
<laughs> well, I, I, you know, I didn't like that in the way that I did like it, because it's challenging. So, build engine games, they actually differ quite a lot in gameplay from Doom, because, uh, build engine games are, like, a lot harder. Doom, you know, I give it, give or take, Doom is a fairly easy game, but... Oh, I have to get the key from somewhere. There's like a key code I have to get from a, an environmental clue. This is like one of my favorite things. Is they started doing more stuff like this. Uh, anyway. Um, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Yeah, um, these games are a lot harder. Uh, Shadow Warrior and um, Blood is very fucking hard. Uh... Uh, uh, what's the game? The new one, uh, Ion Fury, is hard as well. Definitely a lot harder than Doom ever was. In that you die a lot quicker and enemies are a lot more tanky. Like, these are the first enemies in the game. And they do get superseded by stronger enemies. And yet, still, I am kind of struggling with them. But I'm hoping that as my arsenal expands, that it'll get easier. Okay, I cannot for the life of me remember where you get the key code from. I could just guess it, but I want to show you, like, that they actually planned this. But I don't think I can show you that, because I'm struggling. I- oh, oh my god. This is disgusting. Um, so, this is supposed to be a peep show, which is something that is vile. Um, <laughs> there's tissues and a bin. And you're supposed to sit there and jerk off. So that's cool, I guess. Sorry, buddy. <gasps> this is one of my favorite guns in any video game ever. Trust me, this gun is fucking awesome. Hang on, you'll see. So satisfying. Oh god, hitting these guys is impossible with the fucking- Duke Nukem must die. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, we're gonna- we're actually just gonna pot shot them from a distance. Oh, come on. I'm so bad at hitting them. This building. Condemned. Okay. We can't go in, but we can do other stuff to it. You'll see later. That was- I know that was- Okay, before anyone gets fucking wise and says that was a waste, I know. I'm sorry, okay? We could brute force it. Oh, never mind. We just brute forced it anyway. Oh my god, look at it go. Oh. It's a good thing this game came out in like, what, like 1997 and not 2001? Otherwise that scene would not have been in the game. <laughs> not for any particular reason. Oh shit. Those pigs actually fucking terrify me. That's why I, like, love playing this on such a hard setting. Because, like, just even just the pig cops are, like, really scary. I think you can actually play pool. Yes, you can. <laughs> oh, it's such a shame that it wastes ammo because I wanted to play more. Oh, you can do it with your feet. Sorry, I know this isn't how you play pool. I'm really sorry. Oh my god. I love how much you can interact with the world in this as well. You can like, you can try to use the phone, you can use the bathroom, you can turn on the faucet, you can use the hand dryer, you can interact with um, women in a myriad of different ways. Look at that, toned stomach, very nice. Ow, do you fucking mind? Stop, so many pick cops, wow. Get fucking lost. How you pick some bitches. Oh look, it's Jill Valentine from RE3. <laughs> Don't you think? It's the same color scheme, right? 
Oh, look, they're watching a police chase on the television. Sorry, lady, but I think there's more important stuff going on. Like... You wanna dance? Okay. I'm joking. I'm joking. We didn't do that. Okay. Um... I'm gonna have to include this as an addendum before we even go in there. Uh, if you suffer from epileptic seizures, do not watch this part. Uh, time code, when does it end? Here. Don't w stop. Until now. Go there. Okay, now you can see why I said that. This place is Seizure City. I don't even know if this would trigger a photosensitive seizure. I, I just try to guess. Wow, look at them go. You wanna dance? Oh, uh oh. Demonetized. Yeah, these ones. Apparently, I swear, like, the original version of this game, they didn't used to have the pasties, you know? I swear they used to uh, be actually naked. But that might have just been, like, I don't know, a rumor. Like, naked Lara Croft cheat code. Pipe bombs, finally. Oh, fucking goddammit. This is what we call, uh, me being an idiot and not looking, literally not looking before I leave. Don't, don't even fucking think about it. Okay. That, uh, could have gone a lot better. Oh, don't, don't not. Okay. We lost a lot of ammo, we lost a lot of health. We did nothing but lose things. Sorry, I hate to be so pessimistic, but we lost so many. As with Blood and many other build engine games, much of the combat is done around corners with placeable explosives. <laughs> um, <laughs> this might be weird if you've never played Blood or anything like that, but um, y if you go and play those games now, you will notice that that is a constant theme. <laughs> oh my god. This is hard. It's really hard. There's no ammo. I keep dying. I know what to do. I know what to do here. That did not kill him. Oh. My. God. There we go. That's how you do it. Wait. Oh. Oh, wait, no, I used to fuck. What? Your ass is grass. Your ass is grass. Your ass is grass, please. Cope. Wow, things are gonna get very hard very quick. I have no health, no ammo. I have literally nothing. No possessions, no bitches, nothing. Oh, fuck. Wait, wait, there's a shotgun. There's a shotgun in here, please. Do you, do you mind? Could you please not? Hey, there's a Doom uh, reference in this room. Hang on. I can show you if you'll hold my hand. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Uh, when do I get a pistol? You know, the weakest weapon in the game? When do I get one of those? <laughs> cool. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. I just wanted to see a cool Doom reference. Don't want to fight one of you guys. Here's one. That's one doomed space marine. That's one doomed space marine. <laughs> so I've got my, I've got my machine gun now, which I'm happy about. No, don't, don't do this. Stop! Stop it! I don't have any other guns! This shoots two shots at a time! When it... Here we go. This guy is a reference to... ...either Blood or Rise of the Triad. Which was a other... one of those other games. Oh, it drops an atomic health. It's all worth it. They're expecting me to kill most of these enemies with melee, I think. I, I just... 
I, this would be so much easier if I had a pistol, you know? I don't mean this sound ungrateful, but <laughs> please give me a pistol. I'm getting, I like, I have a shotgun, a machine gun, and a rocket launcher, and I, all I want is a pistol. Just one, please. Is it really too much to ask for just a single pistol? They were, they were literally everywhere in the last two levels. Like, they were all over the fucking place, and now I can't get a single pistol. It's like some kind of sick joke. Damn it. He says damn it like he wasn't supposed to do that, but I always mean to do that. So, oh look, this is where it uh, introduces uh, trip mines. Do not fucking shoot me. Just walk over the, walk over the trip mine, please. Just on. Okay, never mind. He's supposed to walk over that trip mine, and it's supposed to blow him up, and then you're supposed to go. Oh, I understand now. So you get a trip, <gasps> a pistol. Oh, sweet, sweet pistol. I'm gonna save so much ammo with you. Can I pick these up? Can I, if I just get closer to it, can I pick it up? Uh, we're not, okay. Uh, hang on, I just had a thought. Sorry, this is like gonna be, you're gonna realize that I'm really stupid and my, my thought pattern's really delayed, but um, I just realized that if this level's death row, and that we got here because we got kidnapped by the aliens, right? Why did they... Okay, so they successfully captured us. Okay. And then they took us to death row. Okay. Why haven't they killed us yet, for starters? So, we're incapacitated and asleep. And they take us to death row. And they put us in the electric chair. Then they wake us up and turn the electric chair on. Um, I'm not an expert in killing human beings, but kind of like there's a few holes in there. Uh, namely, um, if you have uh, your victim uh, unconscious and uh, completely unarmed, why would you not just kill them? Just saying. <laughs> Why did they tie him up and put him in a chair and then say, we're gonna kill you? Like, no, just kill him. It's stupid. Oh, do you get it? It's a movie reference to the the Shawshank Redemption, where he dig, puts a, uh, he starts digging a hole through his prison. And he uses a poster. <sighs> of a naked lady. To mask it, so the uh, superintendent doesn't see. Or whoever the guy is, I don't know. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god, okay, the prison was of my own making, it turns out. There was a pistol in here the whole time and I missed it. These guys are so annoying, they make the loudest noise in the whole game. Oh, fellas. Why do they think it's fine to just throw a billion fucking pick cops at me? Like, as if it's fine. Oh, shit. No, you don't. <laughs> let's, let's get out of here. You know, I was gonna cut it off here for now. But I just remembered I fucking love this song. Yeah, you wanna fucking play this game? I missed. Okay, you wanna play this game? I missed. <laughs> you wanna play this game? I missed. I wanna- I missed! Fuck! You wanna play this game? I missed. You wanna play this game? Thanks for playing. Buddy. <laughs> God damn it. That was really embarrassing. Do you know what it sounds kind of like? That MIDI rendition of Brett Keane's father. That 
that's a really deep cut. I think it was Doom Kid who made that, like a cover of Brett Keane's father. Really weird. It's very good uh, MIDI cover. It's like better than the original, because the original has Brett Keane's like terrible singing over top of it. But the Doom Kid version is like pretty cool. Do you fuck? Holy shit. Uh, ooh. Count. Count. Oh my god, the inaccuracy on this fucking gun. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna pipe bomb it. Condition red flood alert. What do you mean? Oh shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> I love the way he says it. Holy shit. Okay. I am waiting to be picked. I love that this is the actual way to do this. It's not even an easter egg or anything, it's like, I mean, you have to beat the level like this. <laughs> Come and pick me up. Ignore the barrel, please. Thank you. Huh? Yeah. We'll let this one take. Go. Set off the... Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Okay. I was just a bit overzealous the first time, whatever. Okay, there we go. There's gonna be someone behind this glass. Hello? Yep, there you are. Okay, thanks. Bye. What? Huh? Where did you- <laughs> No. Oh my god, wait, wait. I knew it. I- <laughs> I knew it. The- <laughs> That guy I killed earlier. He moved down the conveyor belt, and then the claw picked him up and took him all the way over here. That's really cute. Oh, I love that so much. Oh my god. That's so funny. Okay, let's go up. Oh, fuck. No, you don't. Get fall over. Sorry, do you mind? Get fall over. No, it blew up. Oh, they're gonna shrink. Yeah. I love the little hands. Very funny. So, the, yeah, the trick with this is you have to be very quick because you're only tiny for so long. Hello, friends. Oh, I forgot they can step on you and kill you instantly. That, okay. Let's. Oh, oh God. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, I, I forgot. They can, like, just squish you. Oh, sea mines. I forgot. Okay. Huh? Oh, oh my god. I was wondering what that was on the floor. I was like, is that, like, an item pickup or something? <laughs> no. Psych. Oh, god. Literally, the loudest noise in the human race. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Get that crap out of here. Get that crap out of here. So cool. Where is it? I know Duke Nukem's like a chauvinistic pig and everything, but like, he's cool. You have to admit. <laughs> admit it. I've got a gun to your head, admit it. See, he's fucking cool. Running out of ammo on all my cool guns. Running out of oxygen on my scuba Steve outfit. Did you know, on the normal difficulty, the pistol is like so insanely overpowered. You can use it like all the time and it's fine. And there's no downside. That's kind of why I didn't want to play on like normal. Because it, it makes the game just a tiny bit too easy. Just a tiny bit. Not like too... too easy, but like quite a bit. Like noticeably too easy, where I wouldn't be having fun. I'm having so much fun in this style. What the fuck is that? Y'all... y'all see that? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Does that... can you activate that with a shoot? Yes, she can. Stop it! That's not funny. Oh, did you see the shotgun shells down there? I want to get it with a more accurate... Okay, there we go. There. Jeez. Oh, fuck. Why does this give me motion sickness? Like, I can play, like, Doom and Quake, like, no problem, but this gives me motion sickness. Okay. 
<laughs> so weird looking. Finally, there we go. Oh shit, check it out. I think that's to teleport back to the start of the level. I'm not gonna do that. We're probably gonna play more of this. But if we don't, okay, so... Um, I might just play like a little bit of whatever game I feel like. And this might be one of those times, so... If we play this again, look forward to it. If we never play this ever again, and you want to still see me play it, leave a comment and say, like, I want to see you play more Duke Nukem. Uh, if you're not, that's fine. Whatever, no pressure. No pressure. Um, more Legacy of Kane soon. 